Hi and welcome to Z's Card Flip. We've got eight cards this week and we'll sign there's music on this channel, so if you want to check it, check it out. Um thank you for everybody for their likes, subscribes and comments and now we'll get started. We've got eight cards this week. This is a general reading. Take what resonates with you and just leave the rest. Okay. First card we've got is an angel card. It's a card of listening. So I'll hold it up so you can see it. Okay. So hopefully you should be able to see that. So basically this card means that the angels are talking to you through your feelings, dreams, visions, your inner voice and your sense of knowingness. And they're basically saying to you if you get the feeling to do something, please do it and act on it because they're communicating with it. I want you to enjoy the conversations that they're having with you even though you're probably not hearing them talking. But through all your other senses they are talking to you and through you and they want you to be aware and acknowledge that so and be grateful and you can talk to them if you feel that you would like to okay the next card I've got is a card of rose quartz and it's a crystal card so I'll hold that up so you can see that so it's just a picture of some rose quartz crystals okay so hopefully you should be able to see that so the rose quartz card is basically says of love unconditional joy and loving thoughts you're being bathed in love and joy right now and it wants you to be grateful for everything that you have in your life it also wants you to be open to receiving love and it says that you've got a lot of blessings coming your way and good things coming to you so just be open to receiving that and just enjoy the experience with friends and loved ones okay so i'm moving on to the next card now and this is from my wisdom of the hidden realms and this is the cosmos so i'll hold that up so you can see that I'm just holding it up for a second so you can see it okay so that says creativity and vastness so i'm putting my glasses on so what the cosmos wants you to do, it wants you to get creative, it wants you to be creative and it wants you to get out all of these creative ideas and projects and just be creative. And it says you'll have success with these creative progress, projects sorry, and you need to follow your creative, intuitive guidance and ideas that come to you. Um, you have the ability to impact people, to really touch people with what you're doing and for it to reach vastness fast and wide so you know there's a lot of benefits you can get from being creative so just get creative have some fun it doesn't have to be perfect it's just to be creative okay so moving on to the next card now this is a download card this is a crystal skull card so i'll just hold that up so you can see that for a minute it's got three crystal skulls there with all different colors so hopefully you can see that okay this card says download Okay, so basically what this card wants you to know is that the crystal skulls are communicating with you. It wants you to be aware of it. It says like, regardless of what type of skull they are, like um, crystal, human, mineral, or whatever, they all communicate and they can all communicate with each other and they can choose which skulls they want to communicate with you. It also says that there's information coming and it also says that the crystal skulls have information that they want to give you in the future. So just be open and aware to, to your feelings and stuff like that. And to be patient because there's information coming very soon and in the future. So it's just want you to be patient and know that it is coming. Okay, so moving on to the next card. And this is Surrender Your Fear and Intimacy. I'll read this in a minute, but I'll hold that up for a moment so you can see it. You are ready to let love in, compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Okay, so basically this is a card that wants you to let love in and to open your heart. And you know with love there can be many blockages and things that stop us from receiving love. So we're very complicated people. So it just wants you to open, experience and let love into your life. And hopefully things will go a lot better and run a lot smoother and you will receive the benefits from that. Okay. Moving on to the next card, 
which is the wolf and his guardian. You are safe and protected at all times. And I'll hold that up so you can see that. That is an animal card. So I'm just holding it up so you can see that. Okay. Hopefully you've seen that. Okay. So what the wolf wants you to know is all the barriers that you may have put up. It, you don't need them up at the moment. It's time to let these physical, mental and emotional barriers down at the moment. And you know, if you feel that you need to put them back up again, you can always put them back up again. But for the moment, it's time to, to let your guard down and to sort of let love in. And as you let love in, it wants to be expressive with expressing your love to other people and not to worry if other people don't love you back or not. It's saying the more that you love, the more love finds you. So the idea is to get out there and start showing love to other people and hopefully it will find you and come back to you. So that is the card of the wolf. And if you don't feel safe and protected, you can always put your guard back up so you can feel safe again. Okay, moving on to the next card. This is an Archangel Michael card saying that you are safe. I'll read it in a minute, but I'll just hold that up for a moment. This is an Archangel card, so I'll just hold that up so you can see it in the Archangel Oracle. So, yep, okay. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. Okay, so basically, Archangel Michael is protecting everything you, your family, your home, your animals, your pets, your house, your car. It's all protected. Apparently he's got his protective light that stops lower energies from coming through. So for the seven days after you see this reading, everything is safe, everything's protected. I want you to relax, just enjoy yourself and just, you know, just experience joy because everything is safe and everything's protected. So just lose the fear and just be happy. Okay. And the last card we've got is a card of love. Choose love. Let love become a powerful force for change. So I'm holding that up so you can see it. Okay. So this card basically wants you to choose love as a powerful force for change. Okay. So basically as you choose love and let love into your life and express love and experiencing love, you are the powerful force for change. So you are the powerful force. So basically that is my last card. The eight cards that I've read today. My name is Steve. This is Steve's card flip. I would like to thank you for your time. Sending much love and peace. I would like to say see you next time. Bye.